So as we go into our next match, which is going to be uh, Sauce versus Skyza. And Skyza rocking Zelda. So Zelda versus Mario is a matchup I haven't seen in the hottest of minutes, but this is a fun one. Also, what do you think about Zelda and Mario? I don't know, man. I can't believe Helper exposed me like that. <laughs> I'm so mad. So we got, like you said, we got Skyza playing as Zelda fighting against the Sauce's Mario. And Zelda is one of those uh, uh, fun characters, I have to call her. Uh, she, she has a lot of uh, great gimmicks like that, for instance. Is that your go... nice way of saying the character's this? No. Um, so, like, okay, in all honesty, like, upbeat at a shield from Zelda is actually a really strong tool because it can lead into a kill very easily. It's also good as a recovery move if the opponent doesn't see it coming or if, like, they're, they're, they're not ready for the, her to appear. Because as she appears from the recovery, she kills the opponent. If they're at high percents anyways. So it, it could be a devastating threat. She's also got a lot of good projectiles to work with. She's got Din's Fire. She's throw out the Phantom Knight as like a Fan Knight way better in this game. Because look at that. My man's got that upper hand swing. It's a good slice. It's a good slice. It's a good zoning tool. My man can cut some pizza. But you know what? Mario's just going for the simple bread and butter. Looking like Ryu from Street Fighter, honestly. Just going for the easy forward smash. Put some fire on that. Mwah, beautiful. Honestly, if you just want to like learn Smash Brothers, Mario might be one of the best characters to just start off with because like he is like he is fundamentals the character. The only gimmick that he's got going for him is probably like Flood. Okay, Nair, that all that off of Nair, Miss Tech from Skies of Sauce is gonna capitalize with that four smash yet again. That's the second time we've seen today. Two stocks just drop in like 20 seconds. Man, I'm getting shades of Fox out here with this Mario. The way that he's playing, it's a lot of just. Beat the misinput. They both want Nair. They, they want a Nair. Mario's Nair's always been good. Like, that's never stopped. But and now it's really good for just getting a simple follow up or at least breaking off pressure from Zelda when she does get something started. And you see Sauce moving, baiting out these rolls, knows exactly where Skies is going to land right in front of him. Connects the down tilt, trying to keep her airborne to continue the combos going. Uses the platform to get the double jump into a down air. Sauce? There my, you go. My man just T post his way through game one. That was actually kind of wild. Let's watch that again, because like, the, the thing that ended this up was the platform, right? Reset his jump, went for the fast fall, double jump that into a down air. T poses himself to victory. He's ready. He's ready. That was like that. Did you, remember, did you watch that video on Twitter where it was like a Mr. Game and Watch that T posed? Oh, yeah. It was like his 3D model. Mr. Game and Watch T posing, like actually T posing in the game was, uh, how do you, how you say, silly? Disturbing. It was funny. I liked it. Off-putting. No, it was cursed. Even. I think it's a power pose. It's a power play. It, I don't you, need you, Game you and Watch asserting of dominance in the third dimension. That's fair. These are things I don't want. Nonetheless, what I do want is to see the Zelda bounces back in Game Two. He's We're like gonna, an Arxis character. He's, he's 3D. I definitely don't need Game and Watch in any of my Arxis scenes. <laughs> Keep Game and Watch out of anime fighters. 100%. He's going to be in Grand Blue, man. Okay, here we go. We got neutral hair and a shield coming from Sauce. And, and honestly, this is going to be like kind of very similar to the start of the last game, right? The boat just kind of swinging on each other. No one's got a clear advantage just yet. In fact, Skyza got the first stock last time until Sauce kind of turned up the heat. And he's looking for these forward smashes. I think that's just like MO right now. He's just waiting for Skyza to get a little overzealous with these approaches from just go for an easy bake punish. And honestly, oh my god, whoa. before we even get warp off? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that, that, that's that's a so tragedy. The thing is, up smash from Mario is kind of safe. It's hard to go for a punish. You gotta go for a way quicker option. And that's what I'm talking about. When you try to punish a Feyor's wind, you know, he goes tries to go for the back air right there, but he gets caught by the active hitbox from the teleport. Like we've truly seen some odd interactions. So that was okay, speaking of odd interactions. That entire exchange on the edge was just plain silly because Skyza went for a spot dodge because he knew Sauce was going to try to go for a grab because he rolled right behind him. If Mario rolls behind you in the corner, he wants a back throw. So he does it. He tries to get a throw himself, and they, like, they, they claim grabs. And then what happens? Sauce goes for yet another grab and then connects it because Skyza didn't expect to see it coming. There's a kill. Get the, get the kill. We got Skyza. our own out here. There we go. It's all the no slouch when it comes to chucking people. Yes, sir. But the battle back of the ledge, once again, I feel like every time these battles take themselves to the ledge, like the scramble that ensues gives Skies a more and more of an opportunity to pick the match back up. And that's like, look a, how even this is. That's exactly what Skies is doing. You saw all that off of two exchanges, right? The first one was him getting a grab, got 40, 32 damage off of that, then he landed down on him to land that uh, the neutral B to tag him up to 50 damage. And he keeps getting these sweet spots with the toes. Those toes are powerful, man. You know she goes to a salon for a reason. Do they have salons on Hyrule? Probably. Maybe before again, like, ravaged it. 
Okay, there we go. Down throw. One of the up B. Okay, goes for the re-grab, baiting out that spot dodge. Oh, there you go. There you go. Skyza coming in with the up B. Goes right up there. Sends him flying with that Feyora's win. Good stuff. Oh, no! <laughs> the hottest of reads. <laughs> My man just saw him, bro. <laughs> he was he like, went. <laughs> he was like, step on your mark. Got him out Good clean game, man. so just give easily. Him the, give him the set and those, win. Are, those aren't even the last stocks. Give him Both the set these guys win, dog. straight duking it out. And they still got plenty of life left in them, I think, because Sauce is still going hard on Skyza right now. Okay, so I'm going for the flood right there to try to catch that up B a little bit early, but Skyza just kept his cool, knew the flood was coming. Big damage. Oh, thought he was going to try to go for an air dodge, which is why I opted to go for the back air. Phantom Knight to cover his recovery, but he just goes for one solid. Forward smash as a punish, takes home that set, and your boy Sauce moving on through the pools. He has indeed delivered the sauce. Wow. That was a fun game to watch. Wow. And My honestly, word. That was, uh, the thing is, like, you thought the sauce was going to be, like, totally in control, but Skyza put up one hell of a fight. You saw this like jump. That was Why nuts. you jumping, lad? Why you jumping? You're going to see those wins. <laughs> Skyza with a little pop-up, too. But wait, hold on. This is, this is the moment that made me fall out of my chair, man. All right. A little bounce. A little bit of pressure. Uh, where you going, son? I'm charging. I already know where you're going to be before you do. Uh, Sick rolls. <laughs> Skyza's uh, <laughs> <is his> reaction. <laughs> Oh, yes, word. Sir. Good. Yes, sir. Oh, we're having fun out here with this one. It's the fact that he started charging you before you even had a chance to, like, make a move. That's what, like, killed me. Watch. What? <laughs> honestly. I, I feel like Sky's that goes through, like, the like the five stages he's, of grief. Yeah, honestly, just right there like, in the span of, like, in a, a second. second. Yeah. <laughs> in, like, 49 frames, you know, we saw the entire five stages. Oh, no. Oh, All right. God. So, 